Welcome back. In this random bits, I'm going to show you how you can use the W, S, A, and D keys to move an object around in Unity. All right. Uh, so what I have here is a very simple scene. I have a ground plane, just a cube that I've turned into um, a ground plane by scaling up. And I created an empty and I've renamed it to player. And with inside that, I have created um, four cubes being body, gun, tread left and tread right. And this is going to be our little tank that we drive around with the W, A, S and D keys. So the first thing we need to do is um, create a script so that we can control the tank. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the player uh, game object, add a new component, add a script, a new script, and we're going to call the script player controller. And then we're going to edit the script. Alrighty. So uh, for the script, we uh, can get rid of the start method. We don't need that. And what we're going to do is we're going to create two public variables. Uh, the first one called turn speed and we're going to default that to 100 so this is how fast um, our tank can turn and the other one we want to create also a floating point number is speed and we'll default that to five and this is how fast our tank will move all right and then inside our update method which is gets called once per frame uh, the first thing we need to do is determine um, which key is being pressed A or D for turning the tank left or right. And in Unity, um, all input is controlled through the input class. So we can do input dot um, get axes. And the axis we want is the horizontal axis. So what we really want to do is um, assign this to a variable and then I'll talk a bit more about what this one actually does. So in Unity, we have the input class. Um, it has a method called get axes, uh, which is designed for um, reading values from um, a joystick. So you can have the horizontal axes, which is left and right, or the vertical axes um, up and down. However, in Unity, they also map these um, by default um, to the W, S, A, and D keys. Um, so this value here will be a value between um, negative one and one. Um, and for, since it's the horizontal axis, it'll be negative one if it's the A keys being held down and it'll be positive one if the D key's been held down, and if no keys have been held down, uh, the value will be zero. So we're gonna take that um, value between negative one and one and assign it to a variable called X. And then what we wanna do is we want to rotate our um, tank um, by uh, the amount of our turn speed and either rotate it left or right uh, depending on uh, which key is being pressed. So what we want to do is we take our, our transform which is our, our player object, uh, we want to rotate it, we're going to rotate it by vector 3 dot um, up and if we have a look in back in Unity um, if you select the player we have this green uh, arrow here, which is the Y axis, which um, Unity considers to be the up axis. So what we're going to do is we want to rotate the player around the up axis. So if we go back over here, we want to take the vector up. We want to multiply it by X. So we want to multiply it by the input value, which is either negative one, zero or positive one. And we want to multiply that by our turn speed. And we want to multiply that by time dot delta time, which is the fractional part of this one second that has passed since the last update 
uh, was called. Um, so multiplying by this value keeps your rotation consistent regardless of your fr uh, frames per second or your screen update rate. All right, so we'll save that and we'll jump back to Unity. Wait for it to compile. Um, so we'll see that we've got our two variables, turn speed and speed, and um, we've got our script on our player object. So if we run that now, we should be able to use the A key and the D key to rotate our tank. Cool. Right, so let's jump back to our script and handle the going forward and backwards. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get a float y and we're gonna make that equal to the input dot get, get access. And in this case, we wanna go the vertical access because the up down on the joystick or in this case, W and S keys for up and down. And this time, instead of rotating our object, we want to translate our object or move our object. And we want to go vector three dot forward, which if we have a look here, and we pick on our tank, uh, the positive Z axis or this one here is considered to be forward. In Unity, so we want to go in this direction, and we're going to multiply it by y. We're going to multiply it by our speed, and we're going to multiply it by time dot delta time. All right, so we jump back to Unity and run that now. We will see that not only can we turn left and right, but we can actually go W to go forwards and S to go backwards. And um, if we wanted, we could adjust the speed so we can make it go really slow by setting that to one. Or we could adjust that to 100 and make it go really fast. Whee! And uh, we can do a similar thing with the turn speed. We can either make it go quite slow using the A and the D keys, which are super slow, or we can set it to something like 360, in which case we spin nice and fast. All right. Now, um, in Unity, the input manager and those input controls can be found, or how they're configured can be found under uh, the project settings. So if you go to edit, project settings input, you will see that you have a bunch of axes and a bunch of other things defined, which are like the buttons and things like that. Um, so you see the horizontal and the vertical axes are defined twice. If we look at the horizontal one, you can see that it's left and right uh, mapped to A and D as well. And it controls, um, it's got some sensitivity and some snaps and other options here. So this is how it's configured there. Um, and you'll see the same thing for the vertical with up, down, or S and W. Uh, you'll also see them defined again down here um, where they're busy bringing in the X axis from the from a joystick. Um, so in Unity, by using these names here, then regardless of how the user has mapped their controls, it applies to the keys on the keyboard, uh, but also could apply to any um, joysticks they have in the system as well. All right. Um, and then just for the last little tweak, currently if you drive off the screen, you can't see your tank, you lose your tank. Um, so we can just do a quick tweak to our camera. So on our camera here, we're gonna add a new script. We we'll call this script, look at, look at camera. And we'll create C sharp script. And we will open that up. All right, and in this one here, we're gonna create a um, public uh, variable called of type transform. We're gonna call that a target. We don't need 
the start method. Uh, we're gonna set this variable here, we're gonna set it to point at the tank, and then what we wanna do is have the camera look at wherever the tank is. So what we're gonna do is in its update method, we're gonna do transform to move the camera. Uh, we're going to use the special function called look at, and we're gonna set that to target. And so every frame, uh, the camera will be turned to look at the target. And if we jump back into Unity, uh, wait for the compile to happen, we've got this target transform in here, and we can take our player object, drag it into there. All right. And if we run that now, you'll see that the camera follows our tank around as we drive across the screen. All right, so hopefully that's been uh, helpful. Uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button and uh, subscribe to the channel for more videos. Cheers, thank you for watching.